Welcome to the appendix, where we read the primary sources of the past, so that you can better understand the present. Today's primary resource: the Mayflower Compact, November eleventh, sixteen twenty-nine. The separatists living in Leiden, Holland, desires for various reasons to transplant their colony to America. In 1619, they secured from the Virginia Company a patent for a private plantation. The Pilgrims, reinforced by some 70 persons from London, sailed from Plymouth in September 1620 and arrived off Cape Cod in November. Some of the London recruits were an quote undesirable lot. Unquote. And Bradford tells us, boasted that they were not under the jurisdiction of the Virginia Company, and would use their own liberty. In order to establish some form of government, therefore, the Pilgrim leaders drew up the famous Mayflower Compact. The compact was not intended as a constitution, but was an extension of the customary church covenant to civil circumstances. Inasmuch as the Plymouth settlers were never able to secure a charter, the Mayflower Compact remained the only form of constitution of the colony. In the name of God, Amen. We, whose names are underwritten, the loyal subjects of our dread sovereign, Lord King James, by the grace of God, of Great Britain, France, and Ireland, King. Defender of the faith, etc., having undertaken for the glory of God and advancement of the Christian faith, and the honor of our King and country, a voyage to plant the first colony in the northern parts of Virginia, do by these presents solemnly and mutually, in the presence of God and one another, covenant and combine ourselves together into a civil body politic. For our better ordering and preservation, and furtherance of the ends aforesaid, and by virtue hereof, do enact, constitute, and frame such just and equal laws, ordinances, acts, constitutions, and offices from time to time as shall be thought most meet and convenient for the general good of the colony, unto which we promise all due submission and obedience. In witness whereof we have hitherto subscribed our names at Cape Cod, the eleventh of November, in the reign of our sovereign Lord King James of England, France, and Ireland, the eighteenth of Scotland, and the forty-first Anno Domine, sixteen twenty. Mr. John Carver, Mr. Stephen Hopkins, Mr. William Bradford Diggory Priest. Mr. Edward Winslow, Mr. William Brewster, Isaac Alteran, Miles Standish, John Alden, John Turner, Francis Eaton, James Chilton, John Craxon, John Billington, Hoses Fletcher, John Goodman, Mr. Samuel Fuller, Mr. Christopher Martin, Mr. Williams Mullen. Mr. William White, Mr. Richard Warren, John Howland, Thomas Williams, Gilbert Winslow, Edmund Morgeson, Peter Brown, Richard Bitterridge, George Soul, Edward Tilly, John Tilly, Francis Cook, Thomas Rogers, Thomas Tinker, John Ridgate, Edward. Fuller, Richard Clark, Richard Gardner, Mr. John Allerton, Thomas English, Edward Doten, Edward Lister. Thank you for joining us on the appendix for today's primary resource. We will see you in the stacks.